It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, uh, Tyler here. There has been some new controversy surrounding the new Doom port that was for the Switch. And as you guys probably know by now, basically Doom has been ported onto many different systems. It's been around since I was born, which is like 25, 26 plus years ago. And basically, like, it's been ported onto the PC, it's been ported onto the PS1, the Game Boy Advance, the Xbox 360, the PS3, the PS4, basically any system you can possibly imagine. At some point, Doom was actually ported onto that system. Now, I guess in celebration of the new Doom game called Doom Eternal, which is going to come out next, like this year, I believe, I think they decided to port over the old games onto the Switch. That way they could probably capitalize on the new Doom game. And sure enough, they somehow managed to screw up the new port for Doom. Because basically there has been various reports on social media about how basically they kind of mess it up. For example, according to people on social media, when you start to play the game, like basically the company Bethesda asked people to log into their account to play the game if they want to. Which is so interesting about this whole entire event is that you don't have an online mode for this particular port for Doom. Like, there are some ports like the Xbox 360 version or the PS3 version where you can basically play the game online with other people. However, for this port, you're not required to play online with other people, you play locally. So I'm kind of curious just how in the heck would you need to be required to use like a login to sign into like some sort of thing to play a game offline. It just does not make any sense. There's also been some various reports by other people where basically like the music is also messed up. Like it's supposed to be faster for the port, however it plays slowly in the port. There's also been some sort of reports of basically like um, there's like this little thing on the end of the game where it says like trial version. However, like it's kind of funny because basically it kind of tells me that they use some sort of port, I guess a source port from the computer to port over the game to the Switch. That way they could probably play it properly. Like, how could you possibly mess some sort of details like that? So to recap, they basically mess up, like, the music of the game. You're forced to sign in to play the game. And also, <laughs> they forgot to remove the trial version for that particular, utility, like that particular source port that they have for the game. It is so strange just how quickly, like, they managed to screw up the port so badly. Like, we're talking about a game that is, like, 25, 26 plus years old, and they still managed to mess it up. It's just so bizarre. Like, if they really wanted to cash in on a new game, why not take their time to actually make the game good and actually work hard to make the port as accurate as possible? Like, <laughs> it is not... Like, people ported the game on their microwave. People ported the game onto their calculator. People ported the game on a cell phone. Like, how could you possibly mess up the one game that you could possibly not mess up for porting over? It does not make any sense. Like a while back, I believe that uh, it's software. They released a source code for Doom publicly so that people could port over the game to whatever system. And so how could you possibly mess it up? Like how could you possibly mess up like the port for this particular version of the game? But anyway, what you guys thought, please tell me in the comment section down below. I honestly don't know how they could possibly mess this game up. And until next time guys, uh, take care.